What are we doing not live tonight, Z? The same thing we do every night, which is party with the world, newbie. That's right, this is our reviews will kill you, the party time podcast that gives you news reviews and all that good juiciness. <sighs> I am the man you may know as Z, and that is the effervescent, ever fragrant, 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 noob noob. I'm on my way to Guinness right now. To Guinness? G- yeah, because it's a layover in Dublin, so I'm going to go get Guinness. Oh, they won't let you out of the plane. They won't let me out of the plane. They're just going to shoot no. me on the plane. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. We have some fun stories about flights while you're at it. Oh, do we really? Oh, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, we have an amazing episode for you tonight, folks. We're doing all sorts of things and stuff. I want to say hi to the chat. Yep. I'm going to say hi to myself because I might be there. I'm going to say, hey, Future Z. I might. Uh, What time? Or 730? Hey. I'm, I'll be at the airport, so oh I might be God. able to. I might be able to say hi at some point. You mean when you're just staring at the wall? I'll be boarding at 8.40 p.m., so this will be right... Yeah, this will end right when I'm boarding, so... That sounds exciting. Hopefully, I will fall asleep on the plane and not get fondled. (laughs) I got that probably... I would hate it so much. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) If I was touched forcibly on the plane while asleep. I don't think anybody's touching you. I would love it a lot Mm -hmm. if I was left alone. Really hate it if my legs were Aren't you flying alone? (laughs) Uh, No. I'm flying with uh, Noob News girlfriend. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Exciting. And Noob News boyfriend. No, oh, <laughs> even more exciting. Who knew you were joining? It's a, a thick Italian hoagie we're having in, in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So hi to the regulars. I'm gonna guess that some of our admins. Hey, girl! Thank you so much for that fifty dollars. <laughs> God, you're so generous. Oh my gosh. Cheers. Doc, the, good to see you, Doc. Uh, yeah. Good to see Wiser. Good to see, hopefully, Knuckles. Infinity, stop. You, you didn't need to give us another $10. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> oh, my God, another 10 That's nuts. Euros, we amazing. We appreciate it. We, what? Pr- we do appreciate it. <laughs> Wild. So we have an amazing show for you guys today. Why don't you tell everyone what is on said amazing show? Hold on, I'm too busy drinking all my drink already. And chewing on ice. Yep, live on air. Like a pregnant woman. Uh, all right, so show notes too. Sony ZV1, 132 <laughs> hours video. Z will be explaining Valentine's Day. <laughs> Obviously not. Now but. we're giving away. <laughs> There's housekeeping. Nope, we're not talking about housekeeping. We're going to news. Uh huh. Home Depot is announcing seven feet. Vader. Oh, oh, it's that's a that's a run on sentence. Home Depot is announcing a seven foot Vader for Halloween. There you go. I don't know why Home Depot is doing that, but all right. Mark Hamill gives Biden a hand job. Nope, a nickname. <laughs> uh huh. Darth Jar Jar appears. Is that a thing? You don't know what a Darth Jar Jar is? Is that a cookie Jar Jar? <laughs> yes, chocolate chip cookie. I would love that. Keanu Reeves is down for speed. The drug or the boat. Nope, not the boat. The train. <laughs> uh-huh. Shit, not the train. The bus. Or we're, we're both the speeds boat. Do you on remember buses? No, Speed 2 was on a cruise ship. Oh, it was on a cruise ship. I guessed right. Nikita Cruz. Sylvester chat. Stallone sells the holy grail of watches. I like watches. I'd be interested to see what that is. Ooh. Netflix removes the booing of Kim. I did. Yeah, I watched it after the fact. And oh, I, I did so you not, missed all the boos. I missed the booing. The boo birds. I don't know why. I mean, she was barely there. Why would you boo her? I mean, whatever. She's Kim Kardashian. Why wouldn't you boo her? There's a third 47 meters down movie. I didn't know there was a second. (laughs) That one was fun. Was was the first one with Mandy Moore? Yes. And then the second one was not with Mandy Moore. No, because... Should I spoil it? No. Oh, is she dead? Oh, she dead. I mean, I don't know. Because she just goes 40... So is the... She goes 47 meters movie like you go 47 meters and you just die? Or then you go 40... It should have been like 48 meters down and then 49 meters, right? Yeah, and then should have ended with 50. No, the second one has blind cave sharks. What? Uh huh. All right. Then we're getting outrageous with a man trying to board a flight with snakes. <laughs> that sounds like a future prediction. That is me. <laughs> I have little baby snakes. Do not. Because do, do not my search your penis. Uh-huh. Uh Green Bay named D's nuts. Zoo. Is that? You'll have to wait and see. Is that is that a separate one and then it stops at D's nuts or is it going into D's nuts zoo goers? No. 
<laughs> zoo goers is He's getting these nuts. <laughs> zoo goers. Zoo, zoo goers. goers are outraged over dogs in panda enclosure. Uh huh. Oh God, is the are there pandas fucking dogs? <laughs> I'm not okay with this. Yep. Uh-huh. I need to call PETA. Mm-hmm. We're going in or out on bestiality in Mufasa. Oh my God. Why is Seth Rogen in Mufasa? Is he Pumba again in Mufasa? Who knows? And then we're reviewing Chucky, which I. Didn't we review that already? We didn't. No, you forgot to review it. We didn't review Chucky? We did not. You forgot. Oh, I never watched the second. Jesus, I'm never going to watch that. The The Justice League Part 2 animated thing. I never. Hmm. It's on my table. Oh my gosh. And you could have given it away. But I do. Well, I'll probably give those away during my own live stream for the oh, show. Oh, your own personal live streams. For the, Only when, I, when people give you super chats. Yeah. Super oh, chats for giveaways. You just pay, yeah, pay for it. Don't it's not a giveaway. You just pay yeah, pay away. <laughs> it's just a pay. It's, it's a pay away. Put it on layaway pay away. And uh we're talking about Jews and Pop Tarts with Unfrosted. Uh-huh. Because yeah. that was a movie that unfortunately was made. I also have to re- retract one of my reviews. Which was delicious in dungeon is not over. I thought it was over. Is it, it really? It gave like this. It gave a pretty definitive ending, and then they're like, "Yeah, just kidding." There's like five more episodes or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. It's crazy. If only they did that with Knuckles. I would like five more episodes of Knuckles, but more Knuckles, not less Knuckles. I would like just five more years of Knuckles. Maybe Knuck. Hopefully, Knuckles will be in the movie with Shadow. He's definitely going to be in Sonic 3. Yeah, we'll see. I think he's the best rendition of, of uh, I've said this before, Idris Elvis. He's the goat of Knuckles voice acting. I don't know if there's that many other Knuckles voice acting. There but. are. There's plenty of games with many Knuckles in them and like 50,000 TV shows with Knuckles in them. Like Sonic shows. There are so many Sonic shows. It's out of control. Yeah, but they're garbage. Sonic Prime? I don't know. Sonic Prime is pretty intense. What? They need to do a Mega Man show or a Mega Man movie. Mega Man's a little... Eh, I like Mega Man. A little fey. Because he's got his little dog poochy thing. Right. Oh, wait, isn't Eggman in Mega Man too? I don't know. I don't know. I know that anime was like about... Oh, that was Astro Boy. It was supposed to be based on. That was really good. I can't remember what it's called. All right, so can we move on? To housekeeping? Ha <laughs> ha! So Harry Potter is some kind of. Uh, They're trying to make magic strike twice. We're trying. It did. So- oh, it's not supposed to be moving that, like that. That's on a quick timer. That is on a timer. I had to rebuild the whole show from scratch. What am I even looking at here? Let's see. Oh, it says automatic slide mode. No, I would like it on manual. Thank you. There we go. Let's go back. Let's take a look at Harry Potter Wonders Blastest. I think Harry was better with guns. I would watch that movie. I didn't watch the original Harry Potter, but I would watch it with guns. No, you wouldn't watch uh, it I would. I like Harry Potter, but I also like it with guns or without guns. Do you think he's more powerful with a gun or with a wand? I, I would like a dual wielding akimbos, like a gun in one hand and a wand in the other. I like him to cover both bases. Interesting. Yeah. Well, Harry seems to be a dead shot. And then... This, I, this move, why? Like, why? Seinfeld wanted to direct a movie, and he really, really was the pro- excited The problem with me is, like, I love the show Seinfeld, but... Isn't Jerry Seinfeld just a horrible human being? Oh, somebody in her comments talked about that. They were like, do you remember the time when Seinfeld was dating like a 16-year-old girl and he was like 40? Well, he was really? Yeah, I think he ended up marrying her and then divorcing her. Because the marriage was illegal? I do not know. I guess he's like Elvis, but yeah, he was all about it. Yeah, I, I just never heard good things about Jerry Seinfeld. I love the show Seinfeld, but... Yeah, but was he even like the best character? It's like there's nothing going on. I don't know. It was a great show, but... Yeah, but weren't the characters around him what made the show better? The whole ensemble. Yeah, not just Jerry made the show. It was, you know, Kramer and George and Elaine. Yeah, they all made the show. Mm. And who's the fat guy? I don't. Newman? Newman. Love yes. Newman. I never actually watched the show. I've seen like one episode Newman's or like great. one part of one episode. I like Newman. 
Well, Seinfeld did a movie called Unfrosted, which we'll review today, and I'll get into some of the nitty gritty. But it is uh, somebody in our comments said it's not that bad, and I was like, "This is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my really? entire life." Yes, it could be so bad it's good. We'll get into it later. And then uh, our good friend Gigablast and his brother Giga Zeno swallowed two blasters. <laughs> Gig- Giga bro, his Giga bro, yeah, Zeno. Cutie Morph came on, and we talked about all six alien movies and all the them. gay aliens. I don't think they are the Galians. The Galians, just like uh, Doctor Who, he's technically a gay alien now. I mean, yeah, he kind of is. He's very black. I, <laughs> I've heard some things. I stuff. saw a preview before. I was like, "This man is too bushel." You of watched the two bushel of sticks did, for me. Didn't you watch the the the? Special? I did, and then I saw. I was like, "This," and they're trying to fire the the cute girl. They already did. She's been fired. They already fired the girl from. Did they replace specials. her with a less cute girl? Oh, clearly. Is she also like gay and black? <laughs> <laughs> is it just like two gay black people scissoring now? Is that kind of what Doctor Who is? There's this other weird thing going on. Like, is I, Sonic Screwdriver going to take on a whole new meaning? Yes, it is. Oh. And they, <laughs> they, I heard something weird. Do you know who the showrunner of uh, Doctor Who is? Nope. Um, I cannot remember his name. Maybe it's not that important, but. Yeah, there's there's some weird show called Baby Reindeer, which I did not watch. And I don't really know what it's about other than like some girl stalking a dude. What? It's like some fat girl stalking a guy. And apparently they name a whole bunch of like groomers or something. There's a lot of weird stuff going on right now. Did you hear the stuff about Drake? Like the yeah, rapper like who, Drake? Drake and, Ke- and Lamar, like who, for A, who gives a shit about either of them? And then B, isn't it about just them being pedos? Well, did you know that Drake is really good friends with Millie Bobby Brown? It's starting when she was 14 and he used to talk to her about boys. Her words, not mine. She, They'd asked her in an interview, well, what do you talk to Drake about? Because she's like, oh, I'm, he tells me how much he misses me. What the fuck? And then he's, she goes, oh, he, talk, she, he talks to me about, like, boys and relationships. And I'm like, what grown man is talking to a 14-year-old Millie Bobby Brown? No wonder that girl got married quick. She was like, I got to get was away from Drake. Yeah, she's engaged to, uh, um, oh, my gosh. Whose son? Diddy? It's, no, not Diddy. Not Diddy's son. No, it's no, Diddy himself. No, what? She's married to Diddy. No, no, she's gonna get married to John Bon Jovi's kid. Oh, okay. Uh, and I had one of those she's Mandela halfway effect. There. Do you know what the Mandela effect is? She's living on a prayer. She is. So uh, I don't even know if I want to get into this. I had my mind blown over the weekend. Like my entire world was destroyed. After you realize M- Millie Bobby Brown got fucking railed by Drake <laughs> at fourteen. <laughs> no, I mean that's bad. But that she wasn't. saw some Stranger Things. She did see some Strange Things because yeah. he's apparently packing heat. Is according all, to him, all his number fours or what number is she? Number eleven. I. What do you mean? She got eleven inches. Is it would why? I don't know. He, is, he's, he's not married. Doesn't have kids. Like no, it's all bad. I think there's video footage of him kissing a 17-year-old on stage. That's hot. It's not. He basically spiraled after he lost Rihanna, I think. Did he lose Rihanna? I think he could have plowed her, and then he let it go, and then she just got beat by Chris Brown. And now she's fat and ugly with a kid, so. <laughs> she's also a billionaire. I'm pretty sure you'd take she's it. She's got, no, no, that, that money I'd take for sure. I mean, you're already digging a hole mm. for some gold. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <sighs> This video got a lot of play. It took a couple days, but... Yeah, you got to play with the kids. Apparently, the comments... All the comments are telling me... I'm like, I'm the brave one taking a stand against... Because no one else to talk about it. How much you enjoyed watching kids get touched? <laughs> no. Is that... No. What? No, I, I'm the one who... You're so well, strong and brave. It is sad, because I am the one defending Dan Schneider. Even oh though we did a God. video, you didn't know that that's what that video was about. Is that what the, you're you're defending a kid diddler? <laughs> he doesn't diddle the kids. You're defending he's going to white sue. diddy. No, he's not. He's white diddy. 
So these idiots from Quiet on Set, which I watched every single episode, make a case against Dan Schneider, who there's zero evidence for. Well, he's suing them now, and he's going to win. For there was defamation. zero evidence against the Catholic Church. What happened there? They, no, there was. They went heels evidence. to Jesus. There was pl- plenty of evidence there. Heels to Jesus. And nobody will come out and name names. There was literally three actual men sent to jail for touching people inappropriately. Mark Wahlberg? No. <laughs> I was, I was thinking because he played the priest in that movie. <laughs> Why did you be so slow? No, Mark Wahlberg is a, a nice, healthy man. He does Christian seem like man. a nice guy. I like Mark Wahlberg. He moved his kids out of Hollywood. Yeah. So he no longer has a Hollywood kid. So, yeah, I defend Dan Schneider. And some people really, they were like, you're, bra- you're stunning and brave. See, you did it. For defending a kid diddler. He doesn't diddle. There's no evidence of him diddling any kids. Now, did he tell Ariana Grande to stick her foot in her mouth? Maybe she wanted to do that. Does anybody remember that she, on her own recognizance, decided to start licking donuts publicly? She literally walked up to a in a bakery and started licking donuts. Do you not remember that? When she was I with do. Mac Miller, who was a drug addict and died of, of doing too many drugs? Yep. And then she did too many Pete Davidsons. Oh, yeah. He ruined her. Yeah. Ruined her. He ruined... What happened to him? He was ruining a lot of women, and he's not famous anymore, no. so he's not ruining anyone. Yeah. And his last stand-up was very bad. Very bad. I, he, he had sex with Kate Beckinsale, so I think he's good. Do you think he put her in the hospital? Because she's been in the hospital recently. I almost pulled a thing about her. She dressed up in old man makeup for some reason, or an old man mask. She's lost her mind. Yes. Well, she's been in the hospital for like the past two months. Lost her mind. Because all of the anti-aging drugs that she's taking are making her reverse in time. Still fuckable, though. She's very attractive. Yeah. She is... She... She is defined death. (laughs) I mean, she's put a lot of money into it, but... I mean, you know, she's hey, no Pearl Harbor for you, but she's no longer. She's she's missing that Pearl Harbor luster. You want to see those Japans just bomb bomb her? Yeah, please go on. Uh, wh- those samurais from Shogun. Should I get that that old, good old dumpster fire? I should bring that back. That oh, segment. like where it zooms into me and yes, I just start saying a real racist stupid diatribe. Things. Yes, those. Yes. Uh, angled-eyed people. Wow. I love Japan, so that's, you know. They, they have a they have a pandemic going on of empty homes, apparently. I read on... Yeah, there's nine uh, million I empty homes. I read on Yahoo, not, not Yahoo. They're full of ghosts, so I don't know if you want to live in them. You can get them cheap. Nine million empty homes full of ghosts. Oh, okay. So you, you have iPhone too and you just read yes, that same story? Yes, I did read that story. Yeah. I already bought a home in Japan. You can get a lot of cheap homes. Just saying. I learned how to speak Japanese by you watching can Shogun. house pocket lesbians in those cheap homes and touch them. Then she will eat you out of house. Forcibly. Home. Forcibly. She'll be on the streets soon yeah. enough. She yeah. owned the streets? Just like our main man, Infinity. I should have put Infinity in this picture somewhere. But he's got a... He, he had a truck boat, truck boat party in Bavel. He did. He did. And we helped... We gave him the Orc U bump. He got a lot of views on that. Did he really? Yes, because we gave him that big old Orc U bump. He did, he did say that it was the longest he's laughed in a while, so... <laughs> he also can't understand English because he thought I said Baltistic something or other. Like he 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 emphasized a clip from our review of it. Where in his videos? Yeah, in his videos. I missed that one. You didn't show it. To- I forget. It was you like said a, a, you thought you said Baltistic. Baltistic balls, man. And I was like, no, he's <laughs> autistic. This man looks autistic. I know you probably don't know that word in Netherlands because you're all fucking autistic, but <laughs> autistic. Wow. A is an apple. Uh-huh. You fucktards. <laughs> <laughs> so. Wow. Yeah. I didn't realize Infinity, he did troll us in one of the greatest troll jobs ever. Oh, I I was ready to drive to the Netherlands and <laughs> fucking go get blow him. up the entire country. <laughs> Hey, we're still the national podcast, yeah, I, I according was to you. Gonna go Osama bin Laden. <laughs> Osama. Yeah. Osama. Osama. 
All right, so that's the that's the. Uh, I think that's it. Keeping of houses. I think we're good. I think we can move on to the news. Oh, the news. Your fake news. Oh, it's so quick. Shit, that's Vader. How do you? Okay, I told you to review this. We were supposed to do a sketch on it, and I guess it'll never happen now. If you go into Home Depot now during almost every major holiday, they have gigantic statue things that like animatronics now that I'll you can buy for like Halloween. 200 bucks. If you guys donate enough money, we'll put one in the studio and yeah, we'll we're my studio sketch. Nah, your studio will be bare bones. My studio. What? Yeah, it'll, it'll look pretty pathetic. With your subscription services, <laughs> my studio will be great again. No, it won't. Yeah. But may the fourth be with you. We, I should have gone out and go see this. I should go see it. Or is it next May? No, it's probably this May. I should go out and go see this. You should. I should do a review. I, I'm going to go do a review of this. Oh, wait. He's only available on... If you can't get your hands on Vader on May 4th, he'll be available later online. It's basically a seven-foot-tall Darth Vader holding a jack-o'-lantern of the Death Star. It's pretty wild. These things are freaky. Even during Christmas, they had them, where it was like, you know, you get your typical Santas and things like that. They had, like, a terrifying Jack Frost who's like, I'll be nipping at your nose. And the ones during Halloween are, like, 20-foot-tall demons. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. It's absolutely bananas. I expect you to go borrow some mama's money and get you some I'm a drain that bitch's tank. House. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, be like, Mommy, I want a nice studio. Can you make sure I have one? Fucking make her bleed. Uh huh. We'll see. Yeah, I doubt it. D- all I, again, signs I'm, point to no. Veterans Day, baby. I'm coming back. That's October. <laughs> okay. We we can do a we can do a, home, we can do a Home Depot trip. Yeah, I'll be doing my own show with Giga at that point. Yeah. Thank okay. So, Thirty minutes late every day. Spe- speaking of Star Wars, so are you buying one of these or no? No, you're, you're too cheap. No, I'm not buying. I bet you it's like two hundred fifty bucks. We, I every might buy fucking, one. Yeah, every one of these motherfuckers from Home Depot. That's like, pretty reasonable. You could get like four crazy monsters and be like the king of your block. Nah, I'd rather buy a Baby Yoda. No, you already. No, you would not buy a Baby Yoda. You would just give it to a prostitute and never actually get anything for it. I funded her child. You're the. F- yeah, you did. Yeah, you gave her like seven hundred fifty dollars. That child's name is Noob Noob. It was eight hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fucking Was it $832? Don't you dollars? fucking undercut me. It was $832. I spent good money on that whore. <laughs> and you got zero. I got a little bit of time. You didn't even get to touch her pooch. I did not. And by pooch, I mean her actual dog. I also did not. No. Her undernourished dogs. <laughs> They're the dogs she couldn't afford to feed. Fucking. Yes, your dating history is very should checkered. I should have put her down. Like a old dog yeah mm-hmm. i had the opportunity yeah well you kind of blew it i did you were waiting for her to make out with you you're like please kiss me what are you an incel yeah yeah basically do you know what that means uh nope so what's an incel probably a gay black <laughs> <laughs> or a jew <laughs> What are you moving to Columbia University? Nazi? I thought, didn't we do a whole video about the Ivy League of the South? <laughs> so, it's, so it has to do with Ivy League blacks? Involuntarily celibate. In celibate. Cell. Celibate. Yeah. What's celibate? The mean? thing you don't get a lot of. The sex? Yes. Oh my God. You the can't thing reproduce. You don't get oh a no, lot you're of. just choosing not to. Reproduce. No, you're involuntarily doing it. Oh, okay. Yes, it's not by choice. Like Mark Hamill. Mark is, Hamill. I don't know if he has kids, but he's maybe he's voluntarily he celibating Joe Biden. He did give Joe Biden a nickname, and it's not the big man. Speaking of which, which Mark big Hamill man? needs to fucking relax. <laughs> it was May 5th, and they invited him to the White House. With how woke he is. He. Uh, he, I only expected to be there for five minutes. He showed us all these photographs. He was really amazing to me. He sniffed my hair. I called him Mr. President. He said, you can call me Joe. 
What the fuck? And I said, can I call you Joby One Kenobi? And he liked that. And then I fed him then I <laughs> baby <his> food. <laughs> then I sucked his dick. Yeah, I don't, I like, Mark Hamill is, I like Mark Hamill. He's a great voice of the Joker. I think he's a great actor. He should keep the uh, commentary. He should shut the fuck up in would politics. You, would you like to hear what he said? No. No. Oh, no. I mean, sure. I mean, he, d- well, no one else can hear it. Well, just us. Oh, it's too, it's very long. He oh talks my about. Oh, goodness. I wonder why. He, Wonderful Friday. He and gets these creepy. I love the merch. He love get, it all. But listen, I'm I just want to. Yeah, he got free. He got, he stole glasses from an old man. He literally stole jo- old Joe's glasses. I am already bored. He took a pair of aviators from him. That's kind of, look at that. <clears throat> wow. Biden's bigger than Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill's a tiny dude. Apparently. Kind of like you. Uh-huh. Little teeny you tiny guy. stand next to each other and see who's tinier? T- clearly you. You little fucking munchkin. Uh, uh right. Uh, don't tell me what your girlfriend calls you. She calls me her little munchkin. <laughs> she steps on me with her booties. I hope so. Yeah. Can we get a short of that? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll be in Italy just getting pegged. I'm waiting for Eating it. Stromboli. I'm like, oh my God, sauce me up. They mommy. don't have stromboli in Italy. Sorry. I know they don't. They have no. pizza though. I will have literally pizza. It's not going to be, it's going to be pizza with a fork though. I don't give a shit. And it won't be Chicago deep dish. It's going to be very strange for you. Do you like Chicago deep dish? No. So then why would you even bring it? Chicago deep dish is also great pizza, but it is not because it poisons you with its awful taste. What? Oh, God damn it. It's what's like a, this pizza? What is it? Pizzeria Uno? What is it? What's Uno's is not deep dish. That's, no, what's that, the Chicago one? Is it Uno's? No, it is Uno's. Yeah, I got food poisoning from them no, twice. No, Uno's is a piece of shit. Yeah, I got food poisoning well, from them twice. You don't go twice. to Uno's if you want a deep dish. Chicago like that, deep dish. That's like going to the Domino's of deep dish. <laughs> like, you just don't. Is there even any more Pizzeria Uno's left? No, they closed it no. near us. Yeah, they did. Near yeah. us? Yeah. yeah. Don't worry. When you go south, there'll be plenty of them. There's, I'm going to look for Uno's. Just Can't gonna to, wait. Get a live stream from Uno's for, yeah, the, for the show. 7.30 p.m. Live <laughs> from Uno's, live boys. Live from Uno's every Friday night. I'll be putting on my stand-up show. Waitress, I need another fruity beverage. <laughs> my deep dish is getting cold. Heat it up for me, girl. Yeah, I guess we won't be doing any more stand-up shows. What? They were our, their stand-up comedian shows, you know. When, when did we do that? Oh, you missed the invitation. Sorry. Oh, okay. Whoops. Sorry. Whoops, dude. Too too many other people funnier than me, like Giga Blast and Giga, uh-huh. Giga Coon. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. That was kind of good. Because he was a raccoon. <laughs> yeah, I exactly. Guess, well, I mean, we don't know if he was a true. <laughs> wow. You should probably stop by your Yeah, head. I will. I will. Yes. Uh, so speaking of Darth Jar Jar... Misa gonna hurt you. Yeah, okay. You, you've never heard the rumors about Darth Jar Jar? I did hear that he was a Sith Lord. Yes. Yeah, so apparently in a new Star Wars Lego upcoming movie, Darth Jar Jar is a real thing. Look, he's right here. Misa gonna hurt you. I wonder if it's a Met Best. Is he is he gonna do this? Look, it's it's is that who Darth voiced Jar Jar. Him? Yeah. Is that who voiced him initially? Yes, a Met Best. Mm-hmm. Whoever that is. He's the guy who claims that he was bullied about being Jar Jar. And it's like, dude, we don't hate you as an actor. We hate your character in the movie. I do remember that. Two different things. It's kind of like saying that you hate... Uh, who do you hate? It's kind of like saying that you hate Joffrey in Game of Thrones. I hate the actor. The kid's... Probably a great human being. He did quit acting after that role. So it's very sad. It's yeah. called turn off your internets. You know, we're so famous. We don't actually, well, we respond to all comments, but we do. Until but we, we, get too we many care. Comments. We do love that. We do love it. It gets overwhelming at times. Yeah. And the hate gotta, does make me very sad. You do need to pay for us to respond at some point. At some, at some point we'll get so big. You oh my God. To. Yeah. It, Hey girl, please. You're you're being too generous. Oh my gosh. Fifty dollars. You already gave us twenty earlier. My god. I think you said fifty. I don't know what you said. Hey mommy is what I should tell you. Where's where's uh insult investor with that that This man is too poor. Yeah, he's not gonna he's not gonna invest anything in us. (laughs) 
<laughs> he's investigating drugs and his boat. <laughs> did he? He's a. He's a. We didn't. Re- did we connect the fact that he's a smuggler? He's definitely a smuggler. A- absolutely. Was he there last episode? I don't yes, think so. he was. He was. Mm-hmm. It's too busy blacking out. The hemorrhoids you were too busy they get to me. The what? The hemorrhoids. Oh, okay. They make me itchy, and I forget. Uh huh. Well, <laughs> so how do you feel about Darth Jar Jar? I like you- Darth Jar Jar. Nothing against him. All right. How do you feel about Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock? I don't like him without a beard. I can tell you that much. I mean, that's an old movie. I think. Was that for Speed Two? <laughs> Keanu Reeves wasn't in Speed Two. Son of a bitch! You never saw Speed Two? I was Sandra Bullock. Yes, it's a speeding. Cruise ship. You've been on cruise ships. I have. I like how, cruise ships. How do they speed? Slowly. Well, in a joint conversation about the film, Bullock stressed wanting to work with him again before they die. <laughs> what? You guys are... I mean, she did date... Who is that scumbag she dated? The guy who's got the tattoo in his hand that says, oh, Jesse James. Oh, yeah. She was Why? married to him, she he? would... What? Wasn't she married to him? Yeah, he was probably very angry about the children that she adopted. <laughs> the blindside guy? <laughs> she didn't adopt a guy from blindside. She didn't just adopt a grown black man? <laughs> she did not. She adopted ch- small, younger. Can you do that? Like, can you just like go to the offensive lineman of teams and be like, I want to adopt you, my black man? I mean, that lady kind of did that You're in that movie. You're now my child. You're now uh, my child. I own you, legally speaking. NFL kid, give me that money. Exactly. So speed three, I would watch a speed three. I would. I the don't. speed star stopped by the 50 mile per hour podcast to discuss the 1994 thriller. Excuse me. Why did you not stop by? Our reviews will kill you in this house. We broke into nuts. Oh my gosh. Mr. M. He, d- <laughs> he wouldn't join the contest because he was afraid we would get his address and break into his house. Wait, really? I mean, if he has podcast equipment, obviously we would break in. Mr. M, you can come co-host. $10 for Mr. M. What do you oh, mean? Oh, my no. God. Give that to your children. You have Mr. children. Yes. Open a 529. Invest in their future. You or know, just $1 a month can feed a starving noob noob. That's, I, every, I, every dollar needs to go to my scoot scoot fund. Scoot scoot fund? Yeah. Is that I, your I, children's I, I need to scoot to be happy. Oh, my, okay. Just scoot around my neighborhood crying. <laughs> you, you go, you I come home. I like the wind in my hair. You just, get, you get a little child scooter and you just scoot around. Oh, I have a little child scooter. I want an tears. electric scooter. And just tears. Yeah. Can you electric scoot to everywhere you need to go? Mm, within my it's, community. Yeah, it seems a little far. I can electric scoot into the fucking pool and electrocute <laughs> myself. <laughs> Are there alligators that you could end your life with? Hopefully. <laughs> with any luck, you're going to go God fight willing. Gomek. God willing, Gomek, please come see Noob Noob. Release him from this mortal coil. I think Doc would pay for that. Roll Tide. <laughs> Roll Tide. Uh, no Cox. <laughs> that's right. You're the Cox. I'm not a game th- cocker now. Yeah. you're Clamps and Tigers. Yeah. You have to actually, did anyone talk to you about officially giving up your Cowboy, uh, fuck, fuck the Carolina yeah, Panthers. I'm pretty sure you have to give them up. Nope. Ca- is Carolina just cover both Carolinas? They need, they need something. So <laughs> the Panthers literally cover both. Pan- they just they, cover all of it. There's like North, South, no big deal. What about the Dakotas? They deserve one. They nope. should be the, uh, no, the dead dogs. North Dakota dead dogs. Yeah. Did you not hear about, uh, that chick? The governor, she was like, I had a really bad dog. I had to put it down. I heard about that. Yeah. That's a, that's what you do. You put down bad dogs. Displeased by that. Decision. Really? Displeased. Why? You literally just was said you were going to put down. That would be even better. Oh, my God. I'm about eradicating all pit bulls. Pit bulls are good. S- They're the nanny dog for a reason. <laughs> if you don't like kids, yeah, you should get a, get a pit bull. So that it can kill your Solve kids. Solve your problem. It'll it'll make that, you know, whatever you're paying for kids, as far as daycare, Pitbull will take care of it. Exactly. Easy investment in a $500 dog. You won't have to worry you about paying an extra food more. food and children. Yeah, you won't need children for long. 
if you have two kids, you'll have be you'll be a single family household soon enough. Yeah, exactly. It's a perfect scam. You're just like, oh, honey, sure, we can have one kid. Let's get a dog. You know, help him be friends. Dog murders kid. And you're like, honey, you're over 35. You're a geriatric pregnancy. I don't want to lose you. Let's ha- not have kids. No more kids. And then boom, you're good. You're, you're- golden. Yes. Then you're a dick. You're just buying a bunch of scoots, scooting around, doing drugs. <laughs> Divorce her. Join life. Turn 50, have a baby with a, with a you know, 33-year-old, you know. Condo. A <laughs> 33-year-old condo. You put Can't a believe you gave up the condo for you, this. You put a lease on a condo at 33. You could have had a living condo, and you you gave it up. I'm not sure I uh, – giving up is a thing, you know. What are you getting in that scenario? Uh, someone who, when you come home, will polish your, t- <laughs> she'll polish your, uh, all of your Some furniture. Serbians, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Every night you walk in and be like, where's my dinner woman? <laughs> and where's polish my balls? We are not sure she can cook. Uh, guess what? There are classes for that. That is true. There is YouTube for that. The greatest platform of all time. Not sure she can spell YouTube. I think she can. If anything, she can definitely spell OnlyFans. Oh, my God. Definitely. So, wow. We're getting sidetracked. We are. Wow. What's the next story? Yeah. How about an auction? Sly Stallone. Why? This dude has money. Why is he getting rid of his watches? He's bored. Really? Probably. What if he owes money to the mob? That, too. Uh, he has got a lot of work done. Of course he did. He's, of course. The highlight of his collection. This is out of control. He has a Patek Felipe Felipe Grandmaster Chime, which could sell up for two, up to five million dollars for a watch. Sweet Jesus! Could you imagine wearing a five million dollar watch? I would love to. I would just black out immediately. Actually, what I would do, I think it's pretty obvious what I would do. It's a watch. Okay. On someone else's wrist, somehow it might become my watch. Oh, you gypsy. <laughs> Son of a... I'm already plotting. I'm going to yeah. go see Rocky pretty soon. I'm going to have a visit. I feel like I have a, a real good... Um, what's a cheesy watch from the 80s? Like a Seiko? I have a nice Seiko for him. A Timex? I have a Timex. I will swap out for that, whatever it's called, Felipe... Jean-Pierre watch. It's set for June 5th in New York. will feature 11 of Stallone's watches, including timepieces from Rolex, Admars Bijou, uh, P- Patak Felipe Pan- Panera Bread, yep. Piaget. Absolutely. Represents the fusion of sophistication, craftsmanship, and individuality, individuality mirroring the star's own persona. He said something about he had to like write a letter to them for them to make him the watch. He has what they call Sotheby's described as the holy grail of the watch world, the Patek Felipe. It's a uh, it's the first example to appear at auction with pre-sale estimate of 2.5 million to 5 million. It's sold at charity auctions. What? One of them sold in November of 2019 for $34 million. That is clearly money laundering. You you imagine, if you will, carrying $34 million on your wrist as you go through an airport. Yeah. That's 100% money laundering. Absolutely. Uh, the design process for this watch started in 2007 and was released in 2014. It has 20 complications. The assembly took over a thousand, a hundred thousand hours. There's five chiming mechanism mechanisms. And I, man, I don't even know what any of that means. An alarm feature strikes upon the time upon activation, whatever that means. But he, he claims he had to, like, write a letter to get it. Are you not impressed? What Seems about this? pretty dumb. The Patek Felipe Nautilus is a highly sought-after olive green dial. It looks pretty ugly. Really? That's the picture, right? That is a different watch. That's a... 
sunburst olive green dial with a bezel set with the 32 top West Wesselton baguette diamonds. Man, what I don't know what's going on. Shit. <laughs> That's what you'd like to think. See, I'm only interested in stealing it. I don't actually care about like what it is. I love stealing is. things. Do you? I'm an honorary gypsy. Eh. What do we got next? I'm sweating. Oh, I didn't put it on uh, Oscillate for you? No. <laughs> no, I think you did. No, I did not. Oh, Jesus. I clearly did not put it on Oscillate for you. Oh, so you're just sitting fucking pretty <laughs> getting the wind blasted up your balls? Uh-huh. I'm here fucking dripping on my nuts? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I God forgot. God damn it. I forgot to put it on Oscillate. Tell me if you feel it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm about to take my pants off. <laughs> That's on you. <laughs> uh-huh. That's on you. Tom Brady roast. Your Final favorite. show. I'm doing it pantsless. <laughs> yeah, you'll go right out that door. <laughs> out the window, in fact. Uh, Tom Brady roast. Netflix. Retroactively remove the booze of Kim Kardashian. Apparently, this was like a weird thing. Like there was a fight between Tom Brady and and Jeff Ross. Uh oh! When he mentioned the massage thing with Robert Kraft, he like got up. He was like, "Don't fucking say that again." It's like okay, be. And then the sh- you didn't watch the whole thing. No, I only seen clips. I did not watch it because I don't care. Yeah, I, I. It seems like Bill Belichick must really hate Robert Kraft. I man, I don't know. Like it was awkward. Like they, Kevin Hart. They were in the same place. Yeah, Kevin Hart. Yeah, they were all there. Then Kevin Hart was like, "Let's bring it up together. Like take a shot together." And no. And then he basically takes a shot and just leaves. He just walks back to his seat. That's because Bill. uh, That's because he took away the handies. Yes. No, he fired him. So no more free handies. Right. Yeah, Bill. Bill was definitely salty. Or like so, like there, and now he sucks, right? He's like his team is crap. He he's is gonna, fired. He's to, he, he, he got fired. He has he, no job. Yeah, he has no job. Yeah, because he sucks. It's because he was riding Tom Brady's scrot, the goat scrot, right? Sure. I mean, I think he made Tom Brady what he was, but Tom Brady also made him what he was. I would say Tom Brady is worth more than Bill Belichick. Uh, oh, and they both cheated, so it doesn't really. Yeah. Matter. Oh, Tony Hinchcliffe kind of came out the winner of all of this. Oh, right? that dude was, he just, and he was like, I don't know how many jokes per people. minute, but yes, that L- Martin Luther King joke, that was pretty good. Yes. The, he looks like, yeah, that was a good joke. It's pretty funny too, because he made fun of Burt Kreischer, but I he forgot to make fun of Tom Segura. He just ignored Tom Segura. He stepped in front of him and was like, Hey, there's somebody else funnier there. They, they were the worst. Uh, I almost did a whole. A I think whole Jeff video Ross was worse overall. Or yeah, that Tom Segura Burt Kreischer joke was terrible. Calling him the same as Hitler, what? How does that even make sense? Also, like I just didn't like that they thought it would. Like he Burt Kreischer was laughing like a hyena because he's entire. a fat dumbass. Yeah, he is not good. He is not a good comedian. Easily, I would put our stand up, which you've never done stand up, up against his stand up any day of the week. Yeah, they're they're just not that funny. No, he's just fat. And Jeff Ross is not that funny either. I don't think he's ever like they call him the roast master. I'm like, oh, he's not very good at roasting. I heard Nikki Glazer was very good. She I likes did like, to get yeah, glazed. Nikki Glazer was funny. She's she's good at getting glazed. Some of the non comedians were the funniest part. Well, you know, comedians wrote their jokes for them. So true. Yeah. I mean, Drew Bledsoe, I thought he was good. Oh, Drew Bledsoe was there. Yep. I have his Jersey. I do like Drew Bledsoe. Yeah. He played for the Cowboys. Oh, that sucks. Now I have to burn it. Anyway, uh, you can talk more about that later, but we're going to talk about 47 meters down is on its trilogy. And I wonder why did they not call the sequel? 48 meters down, 47 meters down the third and then 40, Nine meters would have been the third movie. Why did they miss this? Why are we smarter than Hollywood? I don't know. But the third installment is from the uh, same. He wrote the first two films, so I guess he's going to write a third. This one's called The Wreck. So I'm sure. Okay, if there will be blind sharks, because the second one had blind sharks, right? I guess I didn't watch either of them. 
You didn't watch the first one either? Nope. You didn't watch Mandy Moore? Was she showing some tum? She was showing nothing. Exactly. Nothing. What's the point? That is true. Mandy Moore used to be very hot. Eh, what, when she was 15? Is that what you're trying to say? No. What are you, Drake? 17. <laughs> she was Legally never 17. allowed to be fornicated. Hmm. You are a member of the South now, so I think the rules have changed. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Roll Tide. Mm-hmm. Go Cox. The first film made $62 million. The second film made $47 million. How is this movie going to make any money? Well, I've seen both of them, and I'm just like, now if you stuck Sydney Sweeney in it and let her show off her jubblies, I'm all aboard. You hated her in anyone but you. You're right. I was just making a joke because I saw her name. She she's is not, cute, though. Eh, she's like pretty, like, she has to have the right makeup. Otherwise, she's all just jubblies. Nothing else. And she's a little tiny thing. Not that good. And she's not a good actress, and she talks annoying. Yeah, well. She's no Zendaya. She is not. Who looks like a tree now. Mm. It's an outrage. I like to outrageously climb that tree. You would climb that Zendaya tree? Oh, my God. Well, how about would you uh, climb that tree and hide a bunch of baby snakes in your pants? (laughs) Or is that what they already call you? The TSA attempted to stop a man from boarding a flight. And he had a bag of snakes in his pants. <laughs> a bag? Yes. Yeah, snakes were almost allowed onto a plane. What's with these other effing snakes on this mother effing plane? He tended to sneak them on an international flight. Why is Seattle reporting about a Florida plane? A passenger attempted to board an aircraft on Miami International Airport with a bag of snakes in his plane. Was he talking about Diddy? I hope so. That's where they found Diddy. He was in Miami. Oh, my God. I don't even think he's in jail. They're just like, whatever, man. I think he was indicted. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. I want to see convictions with uh, Giselle. Wait, Giselle. Oh, my God. Did Diddy Giselle her up? No, Giselaine. Giselaine Maxwell, right? Sure. Epstein Island, man. No. Diddy Island. The right hand man or whatever. Yeah, yeah, the right hand man. Her name is Jislyn Maxwell. Exactly. Transitioned. Mm. Transports. Uh, yeah, the TSA. Oh, look. What is that's the bag in his pants. Oh, there's little tiny baby snakes. They're so cute. Little tiny baby snakes. Oh what if God. they were venomous? Then Look at that. Tiny baby snakes. They it's are pretty as, cute. They're almost as tiny as your pee-pee. What happened to them, though? They were put down. What? Yes. Were they uh, really? Apparently, this is not the first time this has happened. A woman snuck 22 snakes and a chameleon on board a plane at Chennai Airport last year, wherever that is. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot. One flyer at Phuket International Airport, Phuket, in Thailand, passed through a checkpoint with a Blandford's bridal snake. I don't know what that is. A snake. On a plane. It's very Where obvious. is Samuel Jackson? I need him with his 45 blasting holes into the, uh, the airplane. Just like Diddy blasted holes into Justin Bieber. Yes, just like that. How do you feel about... I think you should rename yourself. Can you legally rename yourself to Noob Noob? Sure. You should do that. If you pay for it. From our subscriptions. Get all the doctors. I think it's only like 100 Don't even say that because it's like $100. To so change like, your name? Yeah, to legally change your Is name. Is it really? Noob Noob. Yes. Oh, we could, I should put that in the chat. Would you like to pay for Noob Noob to legally change I would change definitely not do that. Doc will 100% pay for that. Oh, my God. If it's just 100 I think he would pay $1,000. Uh, yeah, well, this guy legally changed his name to D's Nuts. <laughs> he pleads not guilty and signs an $11,000 signature bond as D's Nuts. Good for him. 42-year-old D's Nuts Kroll. <laughs> what kind of fucking name? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? The? Kroll is scheduled to be back in court on May 20th for his status conference. He is facing two charges 
Battery and disorderly contact, uh, conduct, both are misdemeanors. Then he's bringing these nuts. <laughs> he's bringing these nuts. His he apparently was he had a gun, but it was it was only a BB gun. Look at that. Does he look like a D's nuts? He legally changed his name to D's nuts. <laughs> Closer to snacks. Snacks. Yeah, like I don't know. I lost these nut snacks. Yeah, D, is that what you're trying to go for? I think so. These you don't know. I just saved that joke. I don't These even know. Snacks. I think I fell asleep for a little bit. Okay. How do you feel about zoo goers being outraged? Not there's a lot of outrage here. New York Post, thank you. Zoo goers are outraged when they discover panda exhibit is actually dogs dyed black and white. Look Holy at that. shit, really? They're so cute. Oh I my want God, one. They are pretty cute. Give me one. I want one. Look at that. It's a little dog. It's just a dog. It's kind of messed up that they're dying the dogs like to look like pandas. Also, who would think that's a panda? It looks like a panda. It I doesn't just, really. Chinese counterfeit rings do. A zoo in China sparked an all-out pandemonium after they dressed dogs. Oh, my God. Look how cute the dogs are. I was they're showing say, video. It just looks like a dog. It <laughs> looks. They look like little baby pandas. Oh, my God. I want one. Give me a... Oh my god, look at them. The cute little doggies that look like pandas. I mean, they are pretty cute. Oh my god, that is the best. That is the best thing I've ever seen. Uh, the fake pandas unveiled May 1st at Xiaozhou Zoo in Jiangsu province were actually Chow Chow dogs, a big haired breed from northern China, which they turn into General Chow's chicken. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> it's so good. The those dogs are so good. Zoo officials reportedly trimmed their mane and dyed their faces black to look like China's iconic bamboo munchers. That's pretty So China did blackface. <laughs> they did panda face. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. It's kind of messed up. Many visitors accused the sanctuary of animal cruelty. Apparently, however, the zoo officials insist that the dog fishing scheme isn't harmful to the animals. Dog fishing. Oh my god! Such a bunch of. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty cute. They are pretty cute. Uh, yeah, it's a win. Giving dogs panda makeovers is nothing new. <laughs> I would start selling illegal panda dogs in a zoo. No, not in a zoo. In a in a, in a dog shop. What do they call those? Pet store. Yes. Yes. In the Q Mart, which you never went to. I love Q Marts. No, K Marts. No, Q Marts. K Mart doesn't exist anymore. Damn it. Mm, I'd like to get out of this panda conversation and go in, into my fossa. <laughs> into your fossa? I would like to get into your fossa. Need some people for a thing, get it? Yes. Who's your fossa? Moo fossa. Moo fossa. Moo moo fossa. Did, did you ever... Moon moon fossa. Did you ever actually care about what happens to uh, Simba's dad who dies in the first I was like, going to say, I think you know that he lives in this story, then he also dies later. Takes away the suspense. And they're like, uh, he's supposed... He's like, not rich. He comes from, you know, he's trying to create a socialist. He's a fucking tiger. Oh, lion. you saying that he's cat? He's uh, catfishing them? No, he's a lion. You just said he was a tiger. I misspoke. Yeah, but are, is he? What if he is a tiger and he's catfishing them? He's that'd pretending be good. to be a tiger. Good I on, think that'd be a better story. Good on him. Good on him. Mufasa, the story of the catfish. Well, they're saying he doesn't come from like a line of kings, which means he comes from a line of poor people. Oh my gosh, Seth Rogen's in it. Puma's yep. in it. That's you called it. You called it. Fanny Newton is in it. Donna Glover is Simba. Why is Simba? Oh, because it's like the. What do you call it? I guess you're going to have a flash forward or Mads something. Mads Mickelson's in it? As well. Why? What? As He's who? the evil white man. Evil. I guess Scar's not in it. Oh yeah, wouldn't he have a, I bet you they make Scar like a hero. Scar's his brother, Keith David's in it. He's amazing. Oh, he is? Yes. So Scar is in it. No, Keith David is in it. Oh. <laughs> Not Scar. 
I bet you, though, there there's one of these guys. Because Scar can't be his real name, right? So it's Mufasa. I bet you Taka is is Scar. And you don't know it until the end of the movie. I'm okay with that. That's the... Oh, my gosh. Did we just give away the secret thing? I ruined the movie for you. Sorry. It's going to have his brother in it. And his brother's going to be evil. Sorry, folks. Mufa, I mean, like, I don't not want to see it. Why would you watch this? They're not anatomically correct. I don't know. Have you been giving the opportunity and the angle to look at the uh, the tiger penis? Oh, no, so you need to see more. I do. I need to see more. I do. Mm, are you in or out? Uh, I'm not paying to see it. I can tell you that much. <laughs> If someone, if Mama pays for it, yeah, I, I would watch it on streaming. Well, I mean, the way Disney's going, I think Disney lost like ten percent. Well, they're value. they're now doing a deal with Max to then release it in the summer, so it's Disney Plus, Hulu, and Max all for one price. Are you in on that? Mm, I already it's have the cheaper, Disney so. streaming thing for free for Verizon. Uh huh. Well, I'm out on all of these things. I'm out on Mufasa. I never saw the Lion King. I've seen the animated one, but I never saw the the live action remake. Yeah, that was interesting. I never saw it. You clearly did okay. I did okay. I I am a winner in life, and I I have survived. So that means we can move on to the the reviews. Away views. Yes. Oh, you didn't go see Planet of the Ips? What is wrong with you? And the Bear is coming back. Your favorite show ever. Planet of the Apes is not out until this. Oh, it's, it's no, it's out. Because right now. Now. Right I know someone who saw it, Brian. and they got a poster. Oh, really? Yes, they did. Are they a ginger? They them <laughs> ginger poster? No, it's just a regular poster. Oh, really? Why is the Amazing Spider-Man coming back? Why would anyone watch that? What are we reviewing? Uh, I guess Chucky. Chucky. I guess. I don't know what the premiere review is. Maybe I don't know. Let's see. Jew frosted. Oh. There's only two reviews, so we ha- we have much t- not much to choose from. Chucky. Shit. No one cares about Chucky, do they? Chucky season three. You said it was bananas. You yeah. said it was like out. It was an outrage. It was pretty outrageous. Chucky season three, eighty six percent on the. There you go. On the fan side, a hundred percent on the critic side. I guess people do like it. Before Annabelle of the Conjuring movie series, there was another terrifying doll. After a vintage Chucky doll shows up, vintage at a suburban yard sale, an idyllic American town is thrown in. Yeah, but isn't he like the president of the United States now? Yeah, that's it's that's going the, off the deep end. That's the basic example. That's not like the season three example. What do you? So that's how like the season started. That's how like like the the show. Uh huh. They found a Chucky doll, yep. and now it's gone from like being at like some kid's house to killing everybody in a theater to then moving into season two, which was not even 100% about Chucky, yeah, but included the bride of Chucky, right? And then season three is like, we're going to the White House. We don't baby. want her any. It's like, yes. No, she's still in it, kind of. Is she? A little bit. She's a professional poker player. Jennifer Tilly? Yes. Is she really? Yes. Good she used her. to be married to Sam Simon, and then he died. Good for her. Sam Simon is one of the creators of The Simpsons, so he's got that Simpsons money. I wish I had Simpsons money. But yeah, I, I, I recommend this. This Chucky season three was great. I mean... He did nuke Santa Claus, right? He just gets... it. It gets so stupid, so absurd, so unnecessary that it almost is necessary Mm. so like if you're a fan of chucky and you just want it to be nonsensical then there's no way you don't enjoy this really like if if, although if you just pick this up on season three what happened like okay remember in season one where it got like it was like super representational of things and stuff no Remember the lead kid? Is the lead kid even in it no, anymore? He's still, they're still very gay together. Oh, there you go. That's all I was asking. Yeah. Him and Chucky are super gay together. They are. Oh my god. They are. Of course they are. Chucky Why? plowed him in the butt in episode five. <laughs> Did he? Unwashed. Did he pay him hush An money too? Unwashed butthole. Has it gotten to that point? In the southern heat. Oh, my God. The humidity is just making the, the swamp On pass. the beach. 
under the stars and the beach. Exactly. Even though not close enough to the beach to enjoy it. Just far enough to be annoying, but not close enough to actually enjoy it. 15 minutes? It's not close enough. Okay. Close enough to be close enough to the alligators, but not close enough to be near the crocodiles. You want to just be in the beach? Is that how? Uh, y- Bro, you either have beachfront property or you don't. Oh, okay. There's oh. no middle ground. Fair enough. Obama wouldn't accept Fair 20 enough. minutes from the beach. Sorry. Fair Sorry, enough. I'm yeah. pretty sure gold digging people don't go looking for. Oh, my beachfront property is 20 minutes from the beach. Wow, that's not how that works. Yeah, Even in hur- Wildwood, they don't do that. Yeah, save on the hurricanes. You got to save on the hurricanes. Yeah, exactly. If you're off, I'm the pretty beach. sure it doesn't matter. The hurricane's gonna get you anyway. Okay, <laughs> it's coming for you. Coming on, it's me. gonna plow you. You're gonna get plowed. What? How are your shorts is gonna be out of goddamn control? Oh, so much research you did. So, do you recommend this? I, uh, I mean, I do. I okay. love it. Well, it was a great show. You keep it. Go- you do you. You enjoy. The world is better off with Chucky in it. No, even if he's just a ghost. Even though he's not a ghost, he's the spirit of a. Serial killer trapped inside of a doll, but turned into a ghost. Yes. That makes a lot of sense. It does. Well, let's get frosted. Our premiere Frost review. tips. <laughs> Jim Gaffigan. This, I, I don't even know what to make of this. 38% of the critic side. 56% on the audience side. I am... I could see how some people might like this. Maybe if you really like Seinfeld and you like all of your jokes, um, what do they call that? When you curse the joke, it's blue jokes, right? What? You're either clean or you work blue if you're a comedian. Okay. So you would obviously work blue because you can't. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Where I could work as a clean comedian. Because you're a bitch. Yes. It's it's the jip. I got jipped. In Michigan, 1963, Kellogg's and Poe's sworn serial arrivals race to create a pastry that will change the face of breakfast forever. A tale of ambition, betrayal, sugar, and menacing milkmen. Unfrosted stars, writer-director Jerry Seinfeld. This is either the worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life or the worst movie I've, I've, I've ever seen in my entire life. What movie? Unfrosted. Nobody needs to see that. Critic consensus, much like the preserved packed pa- toaster pastry, Unfrosted is sweet and colorful, yet it's ultimately an empty experience that may leave the consumer feeling the pangs of regret. I do feel the pangs of regret. I do like Pop-Tarts, though. They're unfrosted, bro. Bro. Unaccept- yeah, I like the uh, the s'mores pop tarts. Yeah, they have to be frosted to eat them, correct? They do. And yes. they're like, no, nah, I'd like them unfrosted. So let's just look at the people who star in this because this is nonsensical. Jerry Seinfeld, clear. Let's go oh, on God, an adventure. Is from- that is very noisy. I didn't like that at all. Who, where are the stars? I want to see who who also starred in this. Jerry Seinfeld, director. Jerry Seinfeld is Bob Cabana. Melissa McCarthy, already starting down the wrong path. Jim Gaffigan, pretty good, but weird and creepy. He almost makes out with Amy Schumer, who is... Her face has gotten to a point where I... Why? Her face looks like she's been stung by a thousand bees and is going to explode. Gotta keep it. Gotta keep it fresh. Yeah, so fresh, so tight. I hate Uh, Amy Schumer. She sucks. Hugh Grant is in it. He plays Tony the Tiger. He's great. He's okay. James Marsden is in this. He plays Jack LaLanne, the fitness guru. You ever hear of Jack LaLanne? Uh, this is it, it, the weird part about this movie is that it it, it ages Jerry Seinfeld because Jerry Seinfeld's like I remember all these characters from the sixties and no one else on earth is gonna know who he's talking about. Christian Slater is in it. He plays uh, a milkman. 
Uh, Dan Levy plays Andy Warhol. I heard that name. Dan Levy. Yeah. No, the Warhol guy. Oh, Andy Warhol. Yeah. Although, you know what one of the best characters is in this? And I forgot. It's, um, oh my gosh. Uh, who's the guy who does the really good Biden impression? Um, Kyle Kalinsky? No. What the hell's his name? I don't uh, think it was Trump, right? No, no. He does the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I have no idea. You, I know who you're talking about, but Google it. No. Yes. I can barely keep my eyes open at this point. I am. I need you to look this up. What am I googling? Who does the Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Bel Air. It's like Kyle. Du- oh, it's Kyle Dunnigan. Okay. Oh yeah. So they hired t- Kyle Dunnigan to play a character in this, and he lo- he's so lost in the character. I didn't even know it was him. It was kind of amazing. Kyle Dunnigan, he is, he's a celebrity. Who did he play? They can't hide it from me. Who didn't he play? He's in this Unfrosted movie. He plays a famous newscaster and he keeps reporting the news. And I was like, I cannot believe that's Kyle Dunnigan. It's like gonna, in person, like live? Yeah. Well, I mean live. In the movie. He's in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays uh, Walter Cronkite. That's who he plays. It's bananas. Like the He's like, I'm Walter Cronkite, and there is a war going on between Post and Kellogg's. And it's like, he says like really, really goofy things. It's bananas. This whole thing. Do they is do the bananas. s'mores pop tart? They don't frost it. It's just like your generic pop tart. Stupid. Tart. It's terrible. Stupid. Oh, uh, who's the guy from Game of Thrones? Peter Dinklage. You are correct. Peter Dinklage is in this as well. Nice. He also pays, plays a milkman. And then they have a joke about January 6th, which I just was like, why? What is going on here? It's kind of like Rick and Morty. There's like. Is Jerry Seinfeld liberal? I it doesn't even the, the joke doesn't make any sense. It's just like a spoof of January 6th and you're like is this negative towards January 6th or positive and they're like we don't care. He's trying to do Mel Brooks but he's not funny enough to do it is what it boils down to. Like uh Jack Breyer's in it. There's so many famous people in this it gets distracting. Mikey Day is in it from SNL. It's there's just too many people. Yeah. Yeah. So I, this is like the worst movie I've seen in several years. Other than Ice Road Truckers. No, this is worse. Was it really though? Yeah, because that had Liam Neeson. This is an hour and 33 minutes and I took two days to watch it. Oh my God. Yeah. It's that bad. I just did not care. The jokes aren't funny. It's not interesting. It's a waste of everyone's time. But it could be so bad that it is good. So I am I am confused. I need people to watch this and tell me if I'm on on the extra special vitamins. So get it. Get it while it's hot. Get them pop tarts. I love them. Anyway, I guess that wraps us up. That's what does it. Thank you if you tuned in live, even though we're still live in the chat, but we're not live. The but we're live this is the future. This is how it's going to work sometimes, maybe. Yes or no. Depends. Because, you know, Noob Noob's very tired. He's I am. I need a nappy poo. so tired. He drank too much. He got sleepies. Mm-hmm. Anyway, thank you for catching us. Uh, we do love you on YouTube. We love you on Rumble. We love you on iTunes. We love you everywhere. Because, clearly, we are on to the next one.